Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today, we are making this super cute pumpkin granny square. This pumpkin granny square is super easy to make. Just normal, basic crochet stitches. I'll walk you through step by step. If English isn't your first language, you can click this gear on the video and scroll through to find your preferred dialect. This is a super cute pattern. It's a little bit raised, a little bit textured, but it can also be pushed super flat. So don't think it has to be raised, but I do like a little bit of pumpkin goodness. I also like the texture of those stitches, so it's not just like a boring three circles together, flat, kind of just a normal circle. And it's not really a circle, it's a pumpkin shape. If you find this helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more crochet tips and tricks. And if you want to follow along with written pattern, all of my patterns are available on my website, secretyarnery.com. And you don't have to worry about being able to read a pattern. All of my patterns are written in plain English, just like I was sitting there right beside you. To make your crochet pumpkin, you'll need three different colors of yarn. So an orange for the center, whatever you're edging your pumpkin with, and a tiny little scrap for the stem. I'm just using regular worsted weight acrylic, so a size four worsted weight acrylic yarn. I'm also using a six millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a pair of scissors and a needle for sewing in your ends. Here are the timestamps. You can jump back in to where you left off and let's get started. So we're going to start by making a magic ring. If you don't want to make a magic ring, you could do a chain three and slip stitch the first chain to make a ring. But just try making a magic ring with me. So put that tail over your non-dominant hand, hold it down on your ring finger, and wrap it around those top two fingers making an X. Wrap it around the third finger and just hold it underneath your thumb as well. Turn your hand over. You will have a short strand and a long strand. Grab your crochet hook, hook side facing down. In between your fingers, just slide it under the short strand and on top of the long strand so we can bring it under and point the hook towards yourself, making sure it gets up on that fat part of your hook. Slowly release your thumb so that long strand can start sliding. Put your hook underneath it to grab it and then just hold everything underneath your hook and slip stitch. And there is your magic ring, chain one. And now we're going to make 11 double crochets into the center of this ring, going over our tail. So 11 double crochets. Wrap your yarn and into that center, 11 double crochets. So there's one, two, three, and 11. So just make sure you have 11 double crochets. This little wonky bit in the beginning does not count as anything. So we're just counting our first real stitches. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Go ahead, pull that center tail closed. There you go. And we're going to slip stitch to the top of the first real double crochet to join. So that is right here. Just a little bit on the side. You want to get two strands of that stitch on the top of your hook. Now pop your hook in and slip stitch to join. And chain one. Now into that very same stitch, that very same spot, we're going to make one single crochet chain one, and into the next stitch right here, we are going to start three double crochets. We're going to start three double crochets, but we're not going to finish them. So there's one. I'm going to start a second. Just leaving it on your hook. So there's two, and here is our third. So four loops on your hook. Wrap your yarn, turn your hook towards yourself, and just pinch that stitch to get that loop here a little bit bigger so it'll slide through nicely, just like that, and chain one. Into the next stitch right here, wrap your yarn twice, and into that next stitch, we're going to start three treble crochets, but we're not going to finish them. So we're just going to leave those last two strands on our hook, and we're going to do that three times. So here is my number two. 
And here is my number three. So four strands on your hook, wrap your yarn and take off all four strands and chain one. If you want your pumpkin to lay super flat, here's where you could chain two instead of chaining one. If you don't like a little bit of a dome for your pumpkin. Wrap your yarn twice and we're going to do that again into each of the next two stitches. So we're going to start three treble crochets and we're going to finish them together. So there's our first one. And this is in US terms. There's our second one. And here is our third. Wrap your yarn and take off all four loops and chain one. So into the next stitch, we're going to do that again. So three treble crochets. We're going to start three treble crochets and we're going to take them all off together. So that is a TR three tog or a treble crochet three together. So here is my last one. So there's my four loops. Wrap and take off all four loops and chain one. So we've done our treble crochets three times. The next one we're going to do is three double crochets together. So into that next stitch, start three double crochets, but leave those last loops on your hook. So start three double crochets. That's number two. Here is number three. Wrap and take off all loops and chain one. Now don't worry about it dishing up like that. It will really lay down a lot flatter after we work into the next row. But if you want yours bone flat, go ahead and do a chain two in between these clusters. Into the next stitch, just one single crochet. One single crochet and chain one. So now into the next stitch, we're going to do our double crochets together and then into the three stitches we are going to do our treble crochets together. So wrap your yarn and into that next stitch start three double crochets just leaving those last loops on your hook. There's two, there's three, wrap and take off all four loops, chain one. In each of the next three stitches, we're going to be doing treble crochet clusters. So wrap your yarn twice and into that next stitch, start three treble crochets, but leaving the last loops on your hook. So there's one, there's two, and there's three. Wrap and take off all four loops and chain one. And wrap your yarn twice. We're going to do that again in the next stitch. So starting three treble crochets, but leaving them on your hook. So we're starting them, but we're going to finish them together. So there's two. And here is number three. So four loops on my hook. Wrap and take off all four loops and chain one. So one more time we have to do that right into that next stitch. Start three treble crochets and leave them on your hooks. So we're going to finish them together. So here is number two. Wrap and do number three. Four loops on your hook. Wrap and take off all four loops and chain one. Now into this very last stitch right there we're going to do our double crochet. So I'm into that little stitch, start three double crochets, leaving them on your hook like that. Wrap and take off all four loops and chain one. So that's what mine looks like. It's super dishy and <laughs> so cute. So now we're going to slip stitch right down here into the top of that single crochet. Right down in there. So one slip stitch into that stitch to join right at the bottom or the top of our pumpkin. Chain one. And now we're going to make one single crochet into this little stitch. 
and into that same stitch one single crochet and now we're into this stitch here on the top of that next cluster we're going to do two single crochets so two single crochets into that big stitch and one single crochet into the top of the cluster so just pop your hook in one single crochet and now we're into the big stitch again so here's the big stitch that's getting two single crochets and then the little stitch gets one so the big stitch two and the little stitch one all the way around so two single crochets into the big stitch and one single crochet into the small stitch two into the big and one into the small so you can pause the video keep working around two single crochets into the big stitch and one single crochet into the small stitch all the way around your pumpkin and I'll meet you when we get back to this other side. Now when you have worked all the way around we're just going to slip stitch in to the top of that first single crochet right there to join. I'm going to slip stitch to join. Your exact stitch count doesn't matter we're not really going to be counting it we just want it to be laying a little bit flat just like that. So you can see how it really kind of flattened out but still looks like a pumpkin. So now cut your yarn leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. If you did a magic ring go ahead and sew in your center tail right now. Just a sharp tip needle really helps. They are linked in the description box. I think you get a pack of 25 for $12 or something like that. Totally worth it. And then just go around in one direction and go backwards the other direction. So just sew in that tail nice and snug. So I'm all the way around. And now I'm just going to go back in the opposite direction and cut off my tail. And there is your pumpkin. To make your stem you just need a little scrap of yarn. You don't need much at all. So just turn your pumpkin around so your tail is at the bottom and our center is going to be right up here at the top. So just pop your hook in, loop of your green color or your stem color on your hook. Bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail, you can just hold it along the side of your work and chain one into the next stitch one single crochet chain one so that's my chain one turn your work and now we're going to go in to that very first stitch we just want a couple strands of that stitch on our hook it's going to go in and we are going to make one single crochet and chain one now you can cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail. See, we didn't really use much of it at all. Pull your yarn up and through, snug that down. And now we can thread this needle. And we just want to make that stem look a bit square. So however you want your stock to be, you can use your tail to get it to look how you want. Plus you're sewing in your end, so it's a win-win. So there is your stem. Now we are ready to turn this into a granny square. I'm going to sew this tail in later because I like to go underneath these stitches from the granny square. So now look for your three treble crochets, those clusters we made with treble crochets, and the space right before this space, just put your hook right into this stitch that's right on top of that space. So just pop your hook in, loop of your square color, whatever you're using for your block on your hook, bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail, you can hold it along the side of your work for a few stitches and chain three. One, two, and three. So this counts as our first treble crochet. Wrap your yarn twice and two more treble crochets into that same stitch. 
So there is number two. And here is number three. We're doing full treble crochets. We're not doing anything together. These are all complete stitches. Now we're going to look for the next space between those clusters and just find that stitch right on top, right there. So wrap your yarn into that stitch at the same spot that next space is. We're going to do three half double crochets. So there's one half double. We need to do three half doubles into that same stitch. There's two. Here's three. Now look for that next space between your sets of treble crochet. And we want to look for the stitch that is on top. This guy right here. It doesn't totally matter, but you'll see one close to that area. So wrap your yarn, three half double crochets into that stitch. One, two, and three. Now look for the next space after those treble crochets and just slide your hook up. There's going to be a stitch waiting for you right on top of that space. Wrap your yarn twice. We're going to do a corner. Corners, three treble crochets, chain two, and three treble crochets. So we're doing treble crochets for the corner. So there is two. Here is number three. Chain two, one and two. Wrap your yarn twice and three more treble crochets into that same stitch. There's one, two, and three. So there is our corner. Now we're at the bottom of our pumpkin and we, that's where we have our one single crochet. So we're going to go in before our single crochet. Just wrap your yarn and you can pick whichever stitch, but I'm going to go into this stitch right here and I'm also going to go in to this stitch right there. So wrap your yarn and make three double crochets before that join. Three double crochets. There's two and three. And in to the stitch after, I'm just going to pick that guy, three double crochets. One, two, and three. Now look for that next space right before our sets of treble crochets. So this is going to be a corner. So just find the space and slide your hook up right into that stitch that is waiting for you. We're going to do a corner of three treble crochets, chain two, and three treble crochets. So there's one, two, three, chain two, one and two, and three more treble crochets into that same stitch. One, two, and three. Look for that next space and just slide your hook up into that stitch. And we're going to do three half double crochets into that stitch. So wrap and take off all three loops, three half double crochets, just to get our pumpkin back into being a square and into the stitch above the next space. So just find that space and slide your hook in right above it. Three half double crochets. One, two, and three. Look for the next space after your clusters of treble crochets. Just find it with your fingers just like that and slide your hook up 
you'll find a corresponding stitch at the top, doesn't totally matter which one. Wrap your yarn twice and make a corner. So three treble crochets, chain two, and three treble crochets, all into the same stitch. There is two. And three. Chain two. Wrap your yarn twice and three more treble crochets into that same stitch. There's one. Two. And three. Now we're at our stem. So same as our single crochet, we can just go in to the stitch before and we can go in to the stitch after and we're going to do three double crochets into each of those stitches. So into that stitch before the stem, three double crochets, one, two, and three. Just flip your stem ahead so it stays on the front of your granny square and into the stitch after three double crochets. One, two, and three. Now we are at our corner, so just slide those stitches ahead. We want to do three treble crochets into that same stitch to finish off our square, or finish off that corner. So three treble crochets into the same stitch that we started in. There's two. And three. And now I'm gonna show you two different ways to join. So if you're gonna join and continue, chain one, and we're going to make a single crochet into the top of that chain three to join. So you would just pop your hook in and make one single crochet to join. That ends you right in the center of that corner. You would chain three, one, two, three, and make two more double crochets or make two double crochets into that same corner space to start just like that. You would pop a stitch marker in just to keep track of where you began and then keep working around just doing your regular granny square stitches three into each space. So that's how you would join and continue. To join an end, chain two, one and two and slip stitch to the top of that chain three to join. Chain one to secure your yarn Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through. Snug that down to secure. Sew in your tails and you're finished. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. I'm waiting for you in that video right there and stay hooked.